Om Shanti, let me first briefly introduce myself to you. My name is Sensai Sandeep Desai. I am a teacher of the Chinese martial art called Tai Chi, an art that I have been religiously practicing for the past 23 years or so. I have also had a very deep background in karate. I am also holding fifth degree black belt in Okinawan Shorin Ryu Karate, which I have acquired in Japan in 1997. I have also been an Astanga Yoga practitioner for the past 8 years and prior to that I have practiced Hatha Yoga for more than 25 years. So 42 years of my life have been spent studying martial arts, meditation and yoga. And I have always been addicted to finding the truth behind everything. You know, 10 years ago, I had a minor health scare which actually compelled me to uh, study nutrition and uh, health in a greater detail. And uh, I was actually struck down by the mild symptoms of thyroidism and uh, I was getting fever uh, continuously every day and when this went on for more than a week I was really alarmed because I thought to myself that I have been so careful uh, uh, with my eating habits and with my lifestyle habits. How come a person like me could uh, get something like this and that really pushed me into investigating what is the ideal diet or what is the ideal way of looking after oneself and uh, for the past 10 years I have been relentless, I have been resolute and I have just soldiered on uh, even amidst life's uh, imperfections and many turmoils. You know that we are all today, we are facing a warlike situation and uh, we are witnessing a crisis that we have never, some of us never have never, in fact most of us have never witnessed before. So uh, this is a very critical moment in the history of humanity and uh, the least we can do is keep our mind calm, keep uh, our self in an equanimous state because this is not the time to react, this is not the time to point fingers at each other, this is the time to show our humanity. Now wherever we are, we must do everything that we can, we try to be the best that we can be because this time the enemy is invisible. No, it's not, it's not outside of us. The human beings are the carriers. So this disease, this dreaded disease called COVID has not been spreading due to mice or cat or dog or cow or some bird. It is being spread through human beings. So it's a very, very scary situation and nobody has uh, absolute clarity as to what is the best way to deal with this. But there are certain things that we definitely can do for sure. First of all, you know, I see a lot of people bashing the government, bashing uh, the authorities, bashing, bashing the people who are uh, into, uh, you know, who are looking after patients in the hospitals. So it's very easy to find the blame. It's easy to, very easy to find fault with, uh, with other people. But at the end of the day, what would you achieve by doing so? You know, every time you get upset with someone, every time you get angry with someone, with yourself or with anyone else, every time you feel depressed or sad, there is enough medical evidence to show that your immunity system immediately goes down. You, know, you become far more vulnerable. And what happens is that you don't get anything out of it. See, India is a country with 1.4 billion people. And let's accept 
that we are not at all equipped with, to deal with this type of crisis. But we are doing our best that we can. So instead of bashing each other, instead of you know indulging in fear mongering or rumor mongering, I think this is the time in our life to pull our pull out our resources and do whatever that we can. It's time we pulled up our sleeves and put our best foot forward because that is what is going to save the humanity. And you can clearly see that nature is in a cleaning mode. It will weed out whoever is weak and feeble and people who are incapable of healing themselves. So it is very important that we reach out to people. But first thing we need to do is to look after ourselves. So I was telling you about my story that I was uh, struck with thyroidism and I used to get fever for a week and then I, I began to study nutrition and then I found out that veganism, you know, where you completely eliminate dairy products uh, like cheese, milk, uh, buttermilk, ghee, you know, your health can actually start to get better and better by each passing day. That was the first lesson I learned. And, but I was not satisfied. I thought that every species in this universe it eats a species specific diet. So for human beings also there must be an ideal diet. So how did we eat uh, back in time? I, I became very curious, you know, curiosity got the better of me. And I spent a considerable amount of time researching and reading and you know uh, investigating that what is our best diet and I came to know and find I found out in the end that the best diet or the our uh, original diet used to be 50% greens and 50% fruit it is as simple as that and what have we uh, made ourselves into you know we it's it's not rocket science because you need greens for minerals and uh, chlorophyll and uh, uh, water plant water and you need fruit for calories this minerals give you balance it gives you endurance and the calorie i mean the fruit gives you sugar our brain works best on sugar so sugar is our primary fuel a lot of people are scared of consuming sugar but this is believe me uh, eliminating sugar can cause much grave harm, harm than you might think so ye samay aisa hai ke kai cheezo hame kai cheezo ko chhod sakte hai wo hamare bas ki baat hai wo hamare hamare uh, haath mein hai for an example i just shared ke aap क्रिटिसाइज मत करिए आप किसी को उंगली मत पॉइंट आउट करिए आप सिर्फ अपने आप को देखिए कि आप कैसे अपने आप को सुरक्षित और सलामत रख सकते हो तो ये एक बात हो गई न्यूट्रिशन की बात करें तो अभी भी मैं व्हेन आई लुक अराउंड आई सी मेनी पीपल इनफैक्ट फार टू मेनी पीपल स्टिल कंज्यूमिंग डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स you know there is a direct link between dairy products and anti immune disorders it has been established there is not a shred of doubt about that anymore and this is actually weakening your immune system this is really really affecting every aspect of your life you know we are uh, we human beings are emotional eaters we we like to eat out of our emotions now sometimes we eat to numb out our senses aapne notice kiya hoga ke jab aap stressed out ho when you feel that you have not enough energy to deal with your emotions or the struggles to aap kya karoge you want to eat a a giant pizza or a a sandwich laden with a uh, lot of butter and potato and and this kind of things i'm not saying that potato is harmful potato can be healing if it is eaten with uh, lots of greens 
लेकिन आप ने देखा होगा कि ये जब स्ट्रेस से आप ईटिंग करते हो तो आपकी सेंसेस नंब आउट हो जाती है टेम्पररीली आपको अच्छा लगता है सो द फूड कैन बिकम लाइक अ ड्रग यू नो इट कैन एक्ट लाइक अ ड्रग अगर जब भी आपको कोई आदमी ही इज फेसिंग मिलियंस ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स इन हिज लाइफ एंड इफ ही टेक्स एन ओपीएट अ ड्रग ही विल बी नम्ड आउट ही विल ही इज नॉट गोट यू नो फील द प्रेशर ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दैट ही इज फेसिंग temporarily he will feel very free but it is just the matter of time or maybe a couple of hours or a couple of days or a couple of weeks when his immune system will start collapsing down so it is very difficult i agree because i have been there and done that it's very very difficult to change your eating habits but that's what i have been trying to focus on for the past few years ke okay, bye uh eating your by changing your eating habits you can actually turn around your life you can take your health to an exceptional level if only if you bring about changes kyunki wo change aane se kafi life ke areas mein changes aane lagenge believe me aur kaise badlav laaye sab logo ko badlav chahiye kaise badlav la sakte ho it's the small habits it's how you spend your mornings it's how you talk to yourself it's what you read it's what you watch it's who you share your energy with who has an access to you you know so if you can change all these small small habits you can actually turn around your life or having said that we are not just what we eat we are also what we think we are also what how we feel we are also how much whole heartedly we laugh we are also uh when we sleep so all these things matter a great deal so today <clears throat> so far i have had uh a glass of lemon water and after that i had two and a half three hours of ashtanga practice today i practice second series second series is a bit more challenging than the primary series as as it involves lot of back bends and uh, there are also uh quite a few in- inverted poses towards the end of the si- the series so it's pretty challenging it's pretty va- cardiovascular it really takes a lot out of your body now this is going to be my first meal uh, if you might uh, consider this as a meal this is uh 16 ounces of green juice so this is how i start my day i mean i first have a glass of lemon water and then after a couple of hours i will have this green juice and this will me this will hold me over for next at least 2 to 3 hours and this is made out of all leafy greens all leafy greens whatever leafy greens that you can lay your hands on you can put in this and this is very healing for the liver this is extremely healing for the liver and uh, and now an hour or two hours later i i will be eating a large fruity salad where i will be incorporating two or three ingredients you know the simpler the meal the better it is for your system to ye meri dincharya hai subah ki and you must have noticed that i am not eating any fat till lunch fat keep your mornings fat free as far as possible kyunki your liver likes a routine and we break that routine by bringing in all these fats so you milk almond milk cashew milk coconut milk all this dairy products are going to add more stress to your already stressed out liver so liver doesn't get a chance to heal itself you have to restore your liver if you wish to enjoy uh, a supreme health so i want to keep this video short next time i see you i will want to talk a little bit more about uh, how meditation can actually help you to regain your soul back and actually uh, you will end up feeling whole lot better 
and I have so much to share. <clears throat> I will be really thankful to you if you can let me know which are the topics that you would like me to talk about. What is it that is ailing you? What is it that you want to investigate? And I will do my best to present the information in as accurately as possible. And uh, please, any questions, any comments, please post those below. Uh, and I will be more than happy to respond. And please share this video to as many people as you possibly can. And remember, we are all together in this. So do not feel lonely. Do not feel that you are the only one who is facing this uh, dilemma or this, uh, this epidemic. Please give it a thumbs up if you have liked this video and help my channel grow. Thank you so much for watching. Om Shanti.